Hey guys, welcome back for another home renovation video. So and today we are in episode four of the home makeovers. And today we are starting to renovate the patio, guys. I'm super excited for this makeover. If you are new here, my name is Imani. I do things all home makeovers and home installation. And if you're returning, then welcome back. Let's get into it, guys. <music> Welcome back to another home makeover video. So as you can read by the title, today we are actually starting the patio makeover. This is the space right now. I'm about to go ahead and just do some sweeping and stuff like that. And I think we're gonna go ahead and put the screen in today. So that should be super exciting. I'll show you guys how it's looking right now. Um, if you are new here, my name is Imani. I do things all home decor, making over spaces, and home decorating. And if you're returning to Hey Guys, welcome back to the channel. Let's go ahead and get into the video. This is how everything is looking right now. It's pretty big. I know it looks a little intimidating, but we'll make it work. This is how this side is looking. And as you guys can see, all the screens are out of the windows, but I just wanted to show you guys how it is looking as of right now. This is the sweeper that I'm gonna be using to try to get up all this dirt and stuff like that. Also, comment below if you guys know how I can get this crack filled. It's pretty deep. It is a crack right here. I'm not sure when it started. It was probably way before I had got the house, but it's a crack right here. Comment below if you guys know like what I can do to fill that crack. This is how everything is looking right now. I definitely need to wash off these walls. The good thing is that that's the only crack right there. And also what I want to do is I also want to paint the floors as well. And as you see, this is kind of uneven right here, but I'm not sure if I'll actually do anything about this little spot right here being uneven. My main thing is really this crack right here, which isn't terrible, but I would like to fill it. But I definitely want to paint the porch over in a different color. And honestly, guys, I was thinking about some black concrete paints and actually paint out here. Um, it shouldn't even take a five gallon, so I might, I don't know, it might take a five gallon now that I'm thinking about it. This is what we're working with right now. It does already have a screen door, which is good. It is a brown color. I'm not sure if I will paint it different or not. This is how the ceilings are looking. I have a couple of little um, hooks right here for like plants and stuff, but I feel like, so I wanna do some lights, but what I wanna do is, is that I want to actually get like the command hooks and actually put like the command hooks over the lights like you know just kind of like put them along here and stuff like that um also probably back here i'm not sure we'll see when everything is um coming together but yeah so like i want like lights uh screen the patio paint the um cement ground this outlet works so that's great i got plants and all that um but we're definitely going to get like some more stuff and yeah, so like I said, this is pretty much leaning. I'm not sure how I can get that up and keep it up. So yeah, I'm gonna have that looked at. So yeah, so I wanna have like the command hooks with the lights. When it comes to the patio, as far as hanging up, um, well, I guess I could hang them up. Cause I was seeing like, where was I gonna be able to hang up my curtains, my curtain rods and my curtains, but I guess I can hang them up here. Uh, since it is screws in there, I'm sure screws will go in there. So. Um, that's where I'll hang my curtain rods up. Y'all, that's about to be a whole series. For some reason, y'all, this chalk is not coming off. I sprayed it with water and it's not coming off. Some kids put that on there. I'm not even sure. But I sprayed it with water and it's not coming off. What else can I get that off with? Because I, I didn't really want to paint this side of the house, but I will, but I didn't really want to. But yeah, this is what we're working with right now. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and start sweeping some dirt up and stuff. Um, just to get the surface a little more cleaner so I can have a nice space to um, work with.
is the first window. All the windows are pretty big. Um, I had to get the size is, let me see. The size that I had to get was, and I got it from Lowe's, I mean Home Depot. I think it was like $35. So this is the size that I had to get right here. 60 inch by 25, and then I had got the 72 by 25. I had to get two because we needed at least 72 by 35. So yeah guys, that's what we're doing right now. Um, it's putting in the screen. Um, this is the tool that we're using right here. It's actually not that easy to put in a screen. I didn't realize it was, I mean, it's not hard, but it's tedious um, to say the least. I wouldn't be wanting to do it. But um, <clears throat> here's the water hose, guys. This is like a little, um, right here is like a section for like gardening. Um, and yeah, and it's the water hose. But y'all, we have a groundhog hole right here that's pretty deep it's pretty deep guys um so we have to get a cage to um get that groundhog hole covered so yeah guys that's what we're doing right now and i'll see you guys in a minute Okay, y'all, did y'all see that? First off, I'm sweating. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, all this leaves was right by this door. Okay, so now it's like all dirt over here and I'm not even sure if it's cement on the ground. Like, it's so much dirt. I see a pathway right here. Let's go see what this screen doing. So we done run into a little bit of an issue, okay? So, the problem is, is that the rope that we got is actually too thick. So, um, we are going to get some more rope. But, I guess I should have been helping pushing this down because it's like a little, like, gap. But I'm going to tell y'all, I feel like this, I feel like this can be done over and pull it down. Again, these windows are very, very big. Um, and the patio is pretty big too as well, but I'm going to get this screen done over again because um, it can look a lot better. Now, this one, um, so basically this is not straight, so that has to be fixed somehow. It has to be knocked out to where, it, so the screen can go all around. This is the one that we are working on currently. Which it looks pretty good. The screen definitely makes it look better out here. And then these are the rest of the windows right here. Okay. I can't believe all these was out. Like, that's crazy. Like. And then we got a big window over here. Like, buckle your seats, y'all. Because it's going to be a nice little long series. But I'll make sure I keep you guys updated. See you guys a little bit later. 
Hey guys, welcome back to another home makeover vlog. So guys, we are um, seeing if this pressure washer works. Um, Cause I want to pressure wash the porch and then I also want to feel this crack today too. So this is what's going on right now. Babe, what did it do? So we are out here right now. This is the pressure washer right here that we're trying to get to start. So guys, this is how the porch is looking right now. Okay guys, so this is how everything is looking right now. Like, look how much of a difference that it made just by using that pressure washer. Any little brown stuff that you see on here is um, just like still dirt. But I was trying to um, basically get up all the water and stuff like that. But right now, this is how it's looking. As you see, it was a total different color. It was like a gray color. But like I said, any brown spots that you see is dirt. Um, I want to get these brown spots up 
but I think it did a really good job um, getting the um, dirt up, at least the first layer. So that's what's going on right now. I'm trying to get some more of this dirt up. And after that, I want to feel this crack, so. So guys, this is uh, how the patio looks right now. I'm not sure what this thing was, but um, it didn't it didn't come up with this for some reason. Um, and um, this is how the rest of it looks right here. So it definitely got a lot up because again, this is like a grayish color now. So let me show y'all this um this um this gap filler stuff. Um it's right here. I want to ouch. I found this cement gap filler, the cement crack filler. And what I want to do is I want to put this in a crack out here. Cause um, I was waiting for it to dry, but it's pretty much dry right now. So, I, mean, I think it's water in there. This is the gap filler. I mean the cement um, crack filler right here. So guys, the crack comes all the way over here. The crack pretty much comes like, yeah, so the crack pretty much comes all the way over here. This, that's so deep, like, that's going, this part is definitely going to take the most cement cost. So that's what we're doing right now. And I don't know why it just wasn't just one porch and why I had like, and why like this section is off like that. But uh, yeah. But yeah, that's what we're doing right there. And I mean, how much better do everything look? Like I made sure I did the walls, um, and stuff like that. I made sure I did the windows; they look a lot better. And yeah, I just gotta clean that door. Don't even worry about that. But yeah, that's what's going on right now. I'm super excited, guys. Um, we got all the screen in right now. That's how the screen is looking. Comment below, let me know um, what you guys normally use to like hang lights and stuff because I won't, this is the thing. I don't know if I wanna do like rods for, I know I wanna hang my curtains up and I think I'll just go ahead and get those ones from Ikea. But like, I don't know if I wanna do like um, rods. Obviously I would probably have to do rods, but that's crazy how much difference this porch is. Let me just insert a clip real quick and show y'all how it looked before. That's crazy. That pressure washer is bomb. But, 
but um I'm glad I got this stuff right here and it actually says it actually says um texture superior bond flexibility tack free in 60 minutes so it's in the color gray and this is how it looks in case you guys want to try it out I'll definitely let you guys know how it goes but so far this is what we're using it's called concrete crack sealant and I got it from Lowe's and I believe it was like not Lowe's I got it from Home Depot and I think it was like 637 or something like that so it says permanently seals and waterproofs so this is how the texture look right here so yeah that's what we're doing right now um I'll probably give the porch another good sweep so yeah so we're just gonna go ahead and finish um putting this concrete sealant um inside the crack so guys this is um the crack that i was telling you guys about look how deep it is guys look how deep it is y'all comment below if you guys have any cracks in your driveway or on your porch and also let me know what did you guys use for um actually um filling in the crack and stuff like that i'm just curious because like because like i say right now this is what we're using but um let me know what you guys use for your cracks and have you guys had cracks that was bigger than this? And if you did have cracks that was bigger than this, what exactly did you have to do to actually get it to um, get it sealed? Right now, so far, I am liking the product so far. Um, and also comment below if you guys ever use this too as well. ever use the um concrete paint that's what i want to use for the patio and then comment below which color should i do but honestly i be feeling like it'd be like one color like when i was in lowe's yesterday no not lowe's home depot it wasn't like a lot of colors or whatever i think i just seen like gray and white i don't think white would be nice because it's just too light for the house but i do feel like the gray would be nice I feel like this porch was gray before, so I think I might go with the gray because I think it'll really pop with, with like my decor and furniture and stuff like that. So comment below, like, have you guys ever used it before? Um, the one that I've seen is by Bear, and let me know like how did it go for y'all. If you guys had used it on like your patio or your driveway, concrete paint. So I am in Home Depot right now and looking at some um, paint colors for the patio 
and so far this is what I'm coming up with so basically I almost forgot that you can make your own um, color and y'all what I'm thinking is is that so I was thinking like I feel like black would be so different but like would it be too dark you know um, and I was looking at this slate gray or this tar black like I don't know y'all but I guess I can get the color made which is pretty cool because yeah I think it's pretty cool but y'all I think I'm gonna go ahead and do um, gray okay. All right. And That's you a cute want, color. And do you want the uh, uh, satin finish, the flat finish? Low luster or high luster? I think satin is really nice, though. What do you think? Well, actually, that's that's not available in okay. the fortune patio. Fortune oh. patio is either the uh, low luster or the uh, uh, high luster. What's the difference? How shiny it is. High luster is shinier. Mm-hmm. Okay, low luster. All right. And you don't want anti-slip, do you? What color, like, is this a low luster? Yeah, that's pretty much a low luster, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, so you want low luster. Mm -hmm. Did you want anti-slip or not? Yeah. You want anti-slip? And how much do you want me to give you? Yeah, you can always start out with one gallon if you need okay. to come back and get it. Okay, sounds good. So we'll do one gallon. As long as I got this paper with like the little notes on it, right? And I'm gonna show you something even better than that. Okay. <laughs> We are doing the um, paint thing right now. I went, I went with less, I went with the less semi-gloss with that color I showed you guys, which I like. Um, and also anti-slip. Let me know you guys thoughts. What um, are some of the details that you guys did for your back porch. Like, did you guys get anti-slip? Did you guys get high gloss? It wasn't available in the satin finish, which I would've got that because I had got the satin finish throughout my whole house. Um, I see somebody got a pressure washer over there. Hmm. Um, so yeah, um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna start out with a gallon and um, take it from there. It's supposed to rain today, hopefully not. If it doesn't rain, if it doesn't rain today, we'll go ahead and start the process today. But if it does, I'll just start the process tomorrow. But it'll be all in this video, so don't worry. Like I said, hopefully it don't rain today. And then um, I've got all the brushes that I need at home. And we're going to start with one gallon. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Yeah, I was over here looking at these little... These are so cute, y'all. This one is super cute. This is like a dark brown, but I would spray paint that black. But I think I'm going to find some stuff probably on Amazon. But... What I really wanted to see was how the lights go. So this is a this this is a 24 inch right here. It says 12 bulbs though, 24 inch. So how do you? So this say 24 feet. Well, what? This it says 20. It says lead color changing. 24 feet. 24 outdoor string light. This says plug in 24 feet string light. 12 bulbs. It says 12 bulbs connect up to 10 sets suitable for uncovered. Plug in. What location? So I guess these are multiple colors and these are just like regular. But then I seen these and I thought these was kind of different. This is 11 feet though. For $21. And then this is 10 feet, which is not a lot. This is 12 feet. 12 feet for $15. I feel like I've seen some on Amazon for 24 feet for like $15. So don't even think I would do that. Um, then they got these little lights right here though. But I don't think I want these. I want something like this. Well, this is 12 feet for 16. I can get these. I, I can get 24 feet for 15 on Amazon. So which the 24 feet here is $30. So yeah. It says 24, 12 bulbs, plug in 24, yeah, so. 
I'm gonna insert a clip of the ones that I see on Amazon. Let me know what y'all think. So y'all, these are the ones that I seen on Amazon. Actually, you get 25 feet um, for it looks like $15.99. So that is a pretty good deal. And yeah, so if you guys are looking for like some lights for your patio, um, just letting you know that Amazon does have these. You get more feet for less money. This little set right here is cute and comfy. I like this little bag. What y'all think? This is cute. It's a cute little bag. A little table. This is cute. I want something like this, but I want it in black, though. I think that set is 500. I want to find the outside rug, too, but I can't wait to decorate the patio. We still got to get furniture and everything, y'all, but... We just waiting for the paint right now. I'm about to go over here and see if it's done. Need some little outside rug stuff. So guys, this is the patio and porch paint right here. And then he also gave me like a little um, opener and a stir stick. So we out. <laughs> so y'all we are back at the house and let me just say when I say we I mean all of us me you y'all my family so y'all we back at the house as you can see the patio lighting is just it's giving it's giving what it's supposed to give no let me okay let me just stop so I just want to show y'all how the patio is looking right now it just looked way different from when I pressure washed it. It's just, it just looked like regular cement now with like patches of gray. But this is how it looked. Let me show y'all. So, this is how it's looking right now. As you guys can see, it is a total difference. Um, this is the gray um, little strip where the crack was which is pretty much dry at this point. So y'all, right now I'm really debating if I want to actually start painting right now. And the reason I said that is because for some reason, <laughs> for some reason or another, it cannot stop raining. Like, are you gonna stop this year or not? Nah? I'm like, I would hate to paint and then rain get on the, you know, just like, even though it's screened in, I just still like, I'd rather it not be about the rain or even rain on the day that I paint, period. I'd rather it just be a sunny day. That way, like the air can blow through, dry the floors. And yeah, let me show you guys, um, let me show you guys the exact paint that I end up getting. So... Now, I think I showed y'all the color, right? I think I showed y'all the color. But let's see here. Right here is basically what um, I end up getting from Home Depot. And it's the Bare Premium Floor Coatings. Um, I do not need a primer, so that's good because I did not want to deal with a primer. Um, and then this is the uh three eighth brush that i end up getting so and then i end up getting a stir stick so i want to see how the color look y'all want to see the color hold on let me show y'all so let's go yeah i'm nervous i'm so nervous i'm nervous because the color gray is pretty light, but I did do a poll and I asked y'all, should I do gray, black, or white? And most of the people said gray, so I decided to do gray. It is a light gray though, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's like, so the gray is like this, but it's pretty though. 
it's like this gray. But let's go ahead and swatch it real quick. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and swatch it. I'm nervous. But it's pretty though. So let's go ahead and swatch it real quick, y'all. Let's swatch it real quick. That is so pretty. Oh my, y'all, this is so pretty. I mean, the camera just don't even do it justice. It looks so pretty, like, oh my goodness. This is so cute. This is cute. And I'm sure, I'm sure whenever I do a second coat, it's gonna be a little darker. This is cute, y'all. But I'm gonna show y'all in like some better lighting like outside. But um, we can honestly test her outside real quick. Yeah, this is the color gray. This is just like the first coat and stuff like that. But I think it's really pretty. And this is how it looks on the um, cat. So this is pretty, y'all. This is really cute. We should test it real quick, shouldn't we? Let's just put like a little bit like, let's just put like a little bit like, let's put a little bit, not right here, but let's see. put like a little bit right here let's see how it looks that's pretty it's a light gray i think it's gonna pop really pretty and i'm excited so y'all this is the color what do you guys think like i said this is the color i like it y'all and obviously it's gonna get darker as you can see it's already getting darker on here so guys right here what i'm doing is i am sweeping the porch to get like all the dust and debris off after i pressure washed it so we can go ahead and start getting ready to paint the patio is how the edges are looking right now I just need to clean up this little one part real quick but I did them all around And just go over like any little spots that I need a little extra coat or so. So I'm done with that part. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to start painting. I'm gonna start painting the middle. So this is how it's looking and we're going to go ahead and start painting the middle y'all
Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, y'all. Y'all, it looks so good. It is officially the next day. I wanna show y'all how it look, but y'all know I gotta show y'all a little before. So guys, right here I am showing you guys how the patio actually looked before I end up painting it and spraying it off with the pressure washer. So I just wanna show you guys how it looked before and then I'll show you guys how it looks after. You guys like it i'm excited i love it so much like it just looks so good like it's just a total transformation guys i love it look at it i hope you guys enjoyed the patio makeover and of course you know we still gotta like decorate and stuff like that so make sure you stay tuned and don't forget to turn on your post notification bell so you can be notified when i post a video and you will not miss any videos it's starting to rain y'all i told y'all this rain is not stopping let me know what you guys think. Give me your opinions, your likes, your dislikes, whatever. I love you guys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.